Happy Monday, everyone. I thought I would have a little quick chat about classroom etiquette, especially for those who want to guarantee themselves a good impression with their lectures in their institution. So I'm not sure if this is a result of COVID, but I have noticed a definite change in terms of student behavior and etiquette in the classroom. So I thought I would provide a few tips on things to keep in mind when you're in the classroom that is also applicable for the work environment once you graduate. And the first thing is make sure you're not on your phone. I know it's very, very tempting to check text messages to see what your friends have written you, but as a lecturer, if you see a classroom of people on their phones, it sends one message, and that is that they don't care. And the last thing you want to do is give off the impression that you do not care. The second thing is bringing food into the classroom. I know it is tempting. I myself love to have coffee. I would love to be able to drink coffee in the classroom. But if you are eating and drinking and treating the classroom as a canteen, not only is it gross because you're basically leaving your food particles everywhere, but it makes the room smell. And the last thing the lecturer wants to do is to be in a room that feels like a cafeteria. If you are hungry, you eat during break. You do not eat during class time. And finally, that leads me to number three. Please do not talk while the teacher is talking. You wouldn't talk in front of your boss while they are talking to you. So that means don't turn your back and talk to the person behind you. Don't start having a random conversation about stuff that you've noticed online or on your phone, which I see multiple times all the time. If the teacher is talking to you, that means you need to listen. Just as when you're talking, the teacher should be listening. These are just a few things that I've noticed. If you have any other suggestions, things to keep in mind um, when you're in the classroom or just in life in general that could be applied to the work environment and your professional life, feel free to leave a comment below. See you next week.